Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you guys can get updated as soon as these videos go up. We have tons of new videos coming for you guys. All right, let's get into your reading. We're going to start off with the Oracle cards. Once we're done with that, we'll get into your tarot reading. Okay, lovelies? So let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now, your first card here is Door to Value, all tied up. And the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay, so what they're showing me here is you guys are currently working or feeling like you're working on your self-confidence. For some of you guys, this is something that has been challenging you the past couple of months. Um, the door to value is abundance that's coming toward you. Opportunities are coming. But with the all tied up part, I feel that some of you guys are letting those opportunities pass you by because you may be stuck on a situation or you may be stuck on a person that is not really helping you for your self growth or that may, it's like, I feel you guys are choosing to try to stabilize that connection or that relationship and letting these other opportunities pass you by. Um, all tied up type of energy this is a situation where you feel restricted pisces you feel like you're not being able to move forward or perhaps you're not feel you feel frustrated because you're not able to take the opportunities that are presenting themselves because it could be an inconvenience for you depending on the person that you're currently dealing with uh, or the situation there is need for healing here with second chakra. Uh, there could be a, a blockage here. But I feel more than anything what they're telling you here is don't allow these opportunities to pass you by. Don't take them for granted, Pisces. Um, when it comes to relationships or partnerships, uh, sometimes, you know, we try to, if we feel that it's going to upset the partner or if we feel like it's going to create more disconnection within the relationship we'd rather not take those opportunities but these are uh these opportunities are for your self-growth this is for your advancement these are opportunities that you have earned so again it's about really getting to the point of being able to prioritize if the person that you're with is keeping you from progress and growth perhaps that's not the person you should be with because a person that genuinely cares or genuinely loves you is going to want to push you to be, do better, to be better, to grow. Because they want to, they want to see you self-actualize. They want to see you become happy. And this is not just in relationships, but in every single aspect of your life. All right? So I hope that makes sense. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has here. Now, your partner's cards are going to be on the left. Your cards are going to be on the right. Now, the person that you're dealing with or currently be, uh, been dealing with, you have the Seven of Swords here, the Knight of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So, there's definitely a happiness in this connection, Pisces. I feel with the Seven of Swords, someone's not being honest in the connection. This could be you or this could be the person that you're currently dealing with or your partner. With the Knight of Wands, I see immature type of energy, and I feel that for some of you guys, especially with the Four of Cups here, it's like they're not, they're being tested right now, and they may actually be dealing with a lot of karmic backlash. Uh, this could be situations that they put themselves in based on their actions, um, and that quickly bouncing back and having to deal with consequences of that. However, with the Four of Cups, I feel that this is like a very ungrateful type of energy. This is a person that doesn't want to grow or doesn't want to mature. This is a person that does the self-blaming first. It's like, it's your fault why we are not communicating. It's your fault why this is not working out. That type of energy. Now, keep in mind, it is a general reading. Nonetheless, these are the energy that your partner, the person of your interest is currently dealing with. So if you were communicating with someone and all of a sudden you felt like they kind of stopped communicating, they stopped um, reciprocating your energy, uh, with the Seven of Swords, they're not being honest with you. Knight of Wands is a, a type of energy, a person that likes to mess around or likes to entertain other people. 
The Four of Cups is God blessing them with the opportunity, uh, bringing to them opportunities that are good for them, but they're not really focusing on that. Um, this is more of, like I said, being ungrateful or perhaps entertain other people, other possibilities, because they're not happy where they're at at the present time. Now, your cards here is the Death card. Major transformation here, Pisces. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. And the Five of Coins. Okay. So what they're telling you here, Pisces, is with the death card, there's major transformation. There could have been an ending to a relationship or an ending to some type of connection. The Wheel of Fortune is that of understanding that you can no longer suppress the understanding or the knowing that things have came to an end, whether it be in relationships or in any other aspect in your life at the present time. Whatever endings are coming, this is with friends, this is with relatives, this is with loved ones, this is with work, uh, people at work, in the workplace, etc. You start to notice people like pulling away or no longer contacting you, no longer communicating. Embrace that end. Don't try to chase them. Don't try to continue uh, making conversation with people that are just not looking out for you or perhaps they ha you haven't heard from them in months and that type of energy there they've moved on or they're on to other things in their life where you're no longer a priority so with the death card you have to embrace those endings pisces you cannot resist that the more you resist the ending and the new cycle that you're going into the more you're preventing those possibilities or those new opportunities to come in the wheel of fortune is that of karma but it also speaks about the wheel turning in your favor um you have to be more grateful, Pisces, with the Five of Coins. The Five of Coins could represent feeling like you were left out in the cold or perhaps feeling like the person that you were dealing with didn't really care for you because they haven't contacted or tried to communicate with you. But what they're telling you here, again, embrace this ending or embrace, embrace this cycle that you're currently going through. With the Wheel of the Year, things are going to start turning in your favor in a very positive way. And the way you can actually facilitate those changes to come quicker is by being grateful for the things that you currently do have or the situations that are going good in your life, even if it's not necessarily in romance um, that things are looking up for you. They will soon start to change. The death card and wheel of fortune speaks about an ending cycle, but a new beginning where you're going to be more empowered, where you're going to be more in control where you're going to be or feel more self-empowered, feel like you are blessed, feel like you do have. The five of coins is the lack of, and that's what you're focusing on. You should be focusing on the good things that are going in your life now. Now, the next card here is the three of cups and the eight of swords. So, yeah, I feel that you guys could have been dealing with a person that was dealing with a third-party type of energy. Uh, they were entertaining other people. And it could have been a situation where they felt like they were restricted, like they felt that you were trying to change them or that you were trying to maybe even um, maybe even keep them from like being who they quote unquote who they are type of energy. I feel like there is a bit of resentment here, like Pisces, you're trying to change me, you're trying to control me. Um, but all the while they're not giving anything you see what i'm saying it's almost like they expect you to put up with certain situations certain things about their character um all the while they don't expect the same when it comes to you do you see what i'm saying it's like um uh, they expect you to give give but they're not willing to give themselves do you see what i'm saying so again there is a bit of inconsistency here and definitely feeling restricted now, your cards here, you have the Two of Cups and the Page of Coins. Okay, what I'm seeing for you guys here is if you are dealing with a person that has been inconsistent or a person where perhaps situations or circumstances changed and there's no longer communication, if you're wondering or questioning if this person was authentic or if they were real or if they had feelings for you, I feel that all the while they were dealing with you, they could have been dealing with other people. The three of cups here with the eight of swords. This is a, 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 and the seven of swords. This is a person that was not being honest with you. Now, the cards that are representing you in the present is the death. There's transformation and change. With this change, there was endings that came. The wheel of fortune, your luck is about change. Wherever you feel like you haven't been lucky or things have not been going your way, 
that quickly going to be changing. You have the Two of Cups, which is emotional happiness or a connection with someone that's coming towards you. The Page of Coins could indicate a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn type of energy. This is a person that genuinely will develop love or that has love for you. This is a uh, an offering basically that's coming through in regards to love and romance. Ability that's coming through for you here with this earth element. If you are dealing with a air element, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or, um, or water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I feel that this is a very inconsistent energy. And what they're telling you, it's almost like their personality or the way they act towards you changes just like the moon faces, because I see a lot of moons here. Um, so this is like, they're moody. This could be that whenever it's convenient for them, that's when they make themselves accessible to you. Whenever things are your inconvenience, they pull the energy back. So again, toss out that energy, Pisces, because you have new beginnings coming towards you. You have opportunities to reconnect or fix something with a person that perhaps you were already dealing with. Um, perhaps if it's you, the one that's in a third party situation, the one that's been more constant in your life or the one that has been there the longest could represent... Um, could represent having the opportunity to rekindle that connection or to fix that relationship. Uh, nonetheless, there is endings that are coming. Embrace those endings, Pisces. Uh, if you feel at the present time that there is a lot of unhappiness in regards to this connection, especially if you're dealing, like I said, with an air energy or a water energy, what they're telling you is if there's an ending that is coming or that will be coming up, don't resist that. Don't try to hold on to them. Don't try to, you know, change the circumstance. It's time for you to value yourself, love yourself enough um, to put your foot down and to not allow people to walk all over you. Your luck is about change when we're talking about love and romance. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I definitely see that that's quickly going to be changing. Your status is going to be changing from single to being in a relationship. You may be dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or you may also be dealing with the scorpion type of energy. Um, I see water energy here as well. But that is what is unfolding towards you. Embrace these new beginnings. This is for your betterment. This is to go into a different chapter in your life. And start to take ownership or power of your own life. You understand that you're the co-creator. And you're the only one that can decide what it is that you want in your life. Do not allow other people to decide for you, Pisces. I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight. You guys, Happy New Year's. I wish you guys the best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.